babe, if you're like a software engineer and you've been using AI and you hate it um, and you're having a bad time with it, here's a couple tips. Uh, so one thing is if there's a bunch of versions of a library, the thing has seen so much training data that it can't keep the version straight. I know that you have some libraries where you're like that. So basically you have it look stuff up and now it can do that. So you just tell it, hey, look up the most recent version or look up this version, find the way to write it. Um, also, the next thing is let it look at the docs. Just like you, it's not, it's, it's not, uh, you don't have an encyclopedia in there unless you use it all the time. But if you used it like 10 years ago, you don't remember all the like method names. So uh, AI is not the fact recall engine that we think it is, but it can look things up just like you can. So like have it do that and then like write the code so that you don't have to like read the thing and then write the code. And then you can just critique the code. You can also get it to critique the code. Um, that's another thing. It's just like, hey, do a second review pass, right? And that's like just chat, chat GPT. If you have been using it in GitHub Copilot, the big thing is write the, the comment above the code that you want to see below, basically. Whatever the comment is that would be above the code that you want to appear below it, that's how you get the thing to happen good. If you hate it because the co completions are always wrong because it's like you're thinking in like the autocomplete, like it's just autocomplete on steroids, that's not really the way that, that it works. It doesn't work well like that. You want to write a comment and then have the code appear below. What else is happening? Um, I, I, I redid my hair color, so it's, it's blue. I'm, not, I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, um, what else? Uh, oh, we have a class on this now. Uh, it's not just that information. It's also like how to, how to do all the things and set everything up and how to use it. Um, so that's up on the website. I'll see you soon.